Hey guys, this is 18-2. Welcome back to another episode of Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection. In the last part, we completed the African Savannah Zoo, despite many, many setbacks. In this part, we are handling the Mountain Zoo. The state of Colorado has earmarked some property west of Denver in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains as a location for a new zoo. This zoo is intended to draw tourists who vacation in the mountains. The goals are pretty straightforward. The one catch is that much of the land has a steep slope and flat space is at a premium. The best bet is to first focus on animals that are found in this type of habitat. Bighorn sheep, ibex, and markhor all fit this criteria. Once you have a consistent flow of tourist income, start thinking about selective places to level in order to give yourself more flat land for expansion. Two-year scenario, exhibit 15 different animal species with a suitability of 80, animal happiness of 90, zoo rating of 70. Um, this one is theoretically easy. The difficulty comes in the terrain. So let's take a look at what we got. And by take a look at what we got, I mean handle the first step. Ooh, I can't do it that way. I'm going to have to actually be more selective with my selections because in general I, I I'm assuming you guys noticed in general uh, the footpaths work well as a guide so I generally like to keep the footpaths uh, norm, but normally I don't care too much about them. In this case, with the mountain terrains, with the mountain terrain, um, leaving the footpaths here just saves me a lot of headache with uh, how footpaths work on slopes. Like, for instance, if this was over by like two squares I literally could not build a footpath there like for example right there uh, let me just double check that yeah see you can't build a path there so what I would have to do is connect those that way uh, I don't particularly care about that right now all I care about right now is destroying the natural wildlife for money. I wasn't paying attention to the amount of money I actually started with because I just selling everything is a is an objectively good thing to start with. I mean Yes, the foliage does make guests happier, but that doesn't really matter yet. What matters is the ability to get the zoo up and running, and then I can put more foliage in there if I want. I don't normally do that, but I could. I... I'll have to remember, I should do that with uh, this map. I think it could be fun. So, first things first. Setting to 29, because through experimentation I've basically confirmed, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the thought that it's not so much a sliding scale of 
each dollar makes the guest X much happier or sadder. Nope, I don't forget my word choice. Uh, but it's a tiered system with 29 being a good basic start. I suspect the tiers are every five dollars. Uh, I would have to do more testing on that. Uh, but that would make sense as to why 29 is ideal. Okay, enough jabber. Also, you know what? I've decided I'm not going to bother with Microsoft and Blue Fang. Um, I have finally realized that uh, all it does is give me some money in the short term. But the issue with that is this. This overpowered monstrosity. Uh, I believe it's 22. Yep. Yeah. That will generate, like, all the money I need at the beginning. And middle. And then a second restaurant will give me what I need at the end. Yes, there's a reason I've been uh, dilly-dallying. It's because I couldn't decide where to start. So I think I'm going to start here. And... I will start with... I'll actually follow their recommendation and go for a big horn sheep. Nope, not the Ibex yet. A pair of those. Grab a zookeeper there. And, oh no. I hadn't even thought of that. They might be able to just straight up ram through it. It needs more cliffs and hills. Needs brownstone and gray stone instead of dirt. Do they need fresh water? Yes. Okay. Back to brownstone. You know, I, I, I find it a little difficult uh, doing this with all the weird angles involved. Do they not want any dirt? Okay. Too much dirt. Oh, pff, grass. Do a quick rotation. Alright, rocks, foliage, and shelter. They like the sage bush. Sage. Sage. Rocks and shelter. I think they will be... I think they'll like this one. Yep. And rocks. Because the rocks on the bottom don't count as rocks. How's a highland rock for you? Yep. Little... Child, where are your parents? All right, 
Suitability of 84. Wants more cliffs or hills. Ugh. Still more. Suitability of 85. It, I mean, it's working. Uh, 85. I, I'm, I'm calling it at 85. They want more. Um. Don't care about that. All, right, all that's good. Restaurant has not made me any money yet. 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 So that's their first recommended. Hmm. Well, the next exhibit I will want to put over this way. Because that will let me put a footpath up there. And the footpath will make the guests happier because there are animals on both sides. Alright, is this big enough? Yeah. Alright, too much dirt and brownstone needs gray stone. And grass and fresh water. So let's do the fresh water. Ah! Uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but I, I like the little attention to detail that basically all animals want need a watering hole. Uh, it's just a nice little touch. As opposed to having zookeepers just provide water, just actually giving them a uh, watering hole of their own, just like actual zoos. Foliage, rocks, and shelter. Uh, shelter. The foliage you like is the Himalayan pine. Himalayan pine. Okay. And the rocks, I'm, I would assume you also like the highland rock. If I can find places to put it. And more animals, but that's okay, they'll wind up breeding. Also a suitability of 85. Next step. Make sure I can construct the footpath for a viewing area. Um, I could try to wrap it around here, but in this case, I don't think it matters. Ooh, the restaurant has actually cost me money so far. To be fair, that's because I built it ridiculously early. Oh, look. More sheep. I don't... You're on a... Mm. 
I'll show you and eats cliffs and hills. To you guys. Yeah, no, I'll get. I'll, I'll try to get creative. Because there's the boring and practical way to win, which I've shown plenty of times. So, this time, I'm going to try to have a little fun with it and still win. I'm building a maintenance worker now, because I'm just terrified that one of these things will ram out. Um... You know, if I'm that worried about it, and I am, I'll splurge. No, this is not the most efficient way to do this. The most efficient way would be to pause the game, delete the previous fences, and then build the new ones. So far, zoo rating 81, guest happiness 86, animal happiness 98, both of these two, both of these two, are in highly suitable exhibits. So all I need to do now is exhibit uh, 13 more animal exhibits. Alright, so let's try to be creative and have a little bit of fun with this. I want some room for decorations. I didn't want it to go that way. There. And it's going to be the Markor. I hope you guys are getting my puns. Because it would just be bad to try and explain it. Um, also, so a trick I've learned uh, off-camera is, uh, you know how I've occasionally had issues with zookeepers like, say, putting the food here and messing with my uh, refurbishing? Oh, that's a... <laughs> I like the... <clears throat> anyway, anyway, I learned that if you place the zookeeper in there, they'll just go to the nearest square and... Ooh, they want snow. What was I saying? Yeah, they'll go to the nearest square and... Uh, put the food there instead of in a random place that may mess people up, and by people, I mean me. Because I like things to be nice and even. You guys want a lot of snow. Greystone. Do you guys need grass? Yeah. Little feeding pasture. And then back to gray stone. Yeah. Replacing dirt with gray stone. And what foliage do you like? I don't know. But they like the large rock. I was honestly not expecting that. I... Yeah, I... 
a Ooh. no good mountain foliage um uh. maybe the Himalayan okay And the Himalayan birch. Rocks. They love the large rock. Just the normal large rock. Suitability of 80. Ugh. Fine, Cliffs and Hills. I don't get it. Young guys, give me a moment. Alright, cliffs and hills. Okay. Why is that yellow? I don't understand. Does that mean they won't be as happy? Hmm. That is weird. I have no idea. All right, mountains. Why are you not happy? Is it the pines? Wow, in order to be happy, they need a suitability of 90. That's insane. That's just completely insane. I know you're not happy, but you should be getting happier. Hmm. Okay, eventually I'm going to need to get a moose and a black bear. Because moose and black bear. But as you will notice, they're uh, pretty big. Gray wolves are a pack animal. The Japanese sero. Yeah. I think I'll go with the Japanese sero. Oh wait, they're not mountain. Darn. I could have sworn they were. Well, I mean, they, I know they live in uh, 
Actually, I know moose don't live in mountains. I know black bears don't live in mountains. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. Alright, this is a pretty flat area. Hmm. I could go with polar bears. I, f I feel like that would fit with the theme. I'm gonna have to really... Uh... invest in the fence. Both because it's quite the large fence and because polar bears are strong. Um... Wow, that exhibit is far too small. This is, uh... gonna be a little trickier. I, I can just start before placing the polar bears with that, because I know they'll need at least that much. Now I could go polar bear, or I could purchase Magnet the polar bear, and another polar bear. Does this count as a mate? So, Magnet the Polar Bear is what well, was the basically the mascot animal of I want to say oh, Ohio State Zoo. I'll try to remember to put to correct myself here. And What? I didn't know they could do that. Oh. I mixed that up with... Oh. Oh, I did not notice that. Snow, rocks, and shelter. Remember, always check where, check for guest fences instead of animal ones. What else do they need? Just needs more snow. Right. Rocks and shelter. They like the rock cave, I believe. No, they don't. Hmm. That's odd. Because th they're a bear. Um. I guess I'm just going to have to go with a concrete one. 
Oh, snowy rock cave. Right. 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 Also, do I have a toy? No, I don't have your toy yet. What was I doing? Rocks. Suitability 80. You guys really like rocks. Suitability 83. Suitability 85. I'm happy with that. 